you know, you were saying before something. This is going to go off topic again, just quickly. Sorry, Alex, but something yeah, that was sorry. bugging me before about the um, something's been bugging me for a long, long time about this uh, whole space. I mean, there's obviously sort of problems that users don't know about behind the backgrounds that um, applications yeah. have to deal with. But what about from an accounting point of view? I keep thinking to myself, like when I start a business in this space, I wonder how I'm going to account for my business and give the stuff oh, to my accountant it, and stuff. It will be automatic. I mean, we will implement it uh, before year's end. What, you know, uh, you can just... accounting system? Sure. Wow. Sure, why not? I mean, we yeah. have all the records. Wow. Now, we couldn't do it. They're there. The records are there, but it's like sometimes it's hard to collate. Oh, oh. Like, say if I'm using Money Button, for example, say yeah. if I was running a business on Money Button and I had to go and find a, a transaction that was worth £30 or something. It's not, no, it's not difficult. I mean, it, you, you just have to tr keep track of, you know, for every transaction, what's the, you know, what was the, the exchange rate at the moment exactly, that you yeah. did the transaction? Yeah. What's the current yeah. exchange rate? Exactly. And uh, we convert it. Well, in this case, we are not converting it to fiat. So it's just... You know, it's basically what was worth at the time, and yeah. we can build a, a, a CVS file, PDF file, whatever for your content, and you just win one click, you download it at the end of the year, and that's it. And that's, that's what we're going to do because it's very, yeah, and, and this will be the same thing for businesses, individuals, whatever. Maybe for businesses, you need, we, we will get to a phase where we will add invoices, you know, like more complex stuff, but. Uh, you know, uh, we want to keep it, you know, s keep it simple and provide the functionality because nobody else is doing it. And I think it's something like, uh, you know, there's are things that we use Bitcoin. We want to do it ourselves. And we I, I don't want to go to another service. If I can just press a button and have all the accounting for all the year from Handcash, why not? I mean, it's super yeah, easy to do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's I, interesting, don't know, then. I don't yeah. know if you. you uh, I mean, all the infrastructure is ready to do that in a way that. Yeah. If you go to the payment section in Handcast, yeah, Hold on. and you go for, you know, imagine this this transaction was 22, oh, yes. 22 yes. bucks. Yep. It was twenty two bucks at at that time, and now it's uh, twenty two sixty two at current yep. exchange rate. Yeah. So we yeah. are taking into account all these things. One because of for accounting purposes at the end of the year and new features, but again because people like to see you know what they sent at the time and and what's worth now. And but do accountants understand what's going on with this? I mean, are there accountants out there that um, are privy to the information that we're privy to and have the understanding that we have? Because I can't imagine too many are. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I will. I don't know. We will add all the data and, you know, everything, you know, in fiat values and, you know, a balance of what you earn, what you spend, whatever. And yeah. I, I I don't think there would be any issue if if we do our job great. Uh, your accountant shouldn't shouldn't have any any issue. Again, this is something that we have to talk with actual uh, our accountant, for example, into guiding us in a way that how would you frame this in a way that if someone handles you this, you can just do your job with it. So that's well, you the can way. Imagine we imagine um, what what uh, one quarter's worth of micro payments would look like on on a on a bat on a. Uh, represented in a, in, a, um, in an accounting form, it would look like a complete nightmare. You could yeah, be looking yeah. at um, millions of transactions there, Alex. Yeah, that's why we have to do a, you know, group them, and it will be it will be tricky to to fine tune it. But I think yeah. we can start, you know, working uh, straightforward with this, and and if so, you know, getting the feedback from the first people that present this for taxes, and they say, "Oh, well, we, I would like to have this field or whatever, or have this grouped into this kind of section." We, we'll see, we'll see. But we are going to start with something that you know I think it's, it's going to be it's going to make sense for most accountants everywhere in the world. I hope so. Um, it, yeah. I hope so, Alex. We we do, we really need it. I think. Um... And speaking of uh, Bitcoin, Sophia, who I love that guy, I think he's hilarious. Um, you know, he's great at his buttons and stuff. Um, are, are, are you going to have a button? No. You're not going to do it? How come? So I thought I, I, I had you down as a, a business that would definitely have a button. I'm totally wrong then. So how come you are part of business? It's not, we not are, interested. We are not interested in the button business. 
Interesting. Wow, there, I can't there, believe it. I've... No, there are other. Uh, I don't know if you know it, but we released it back in November last year. We released an SDK for build, building Bitcoin applications that was called Cashport. Right. Yes, hmm. I remember. So we released it, and our first customers were Keyboard TV. And yeah. hey, Streamanity. without without tapping any button, you could pay. Yes, Trumanity. What is Trumanity? Without tapping any button, you can. You were charged by the minute. And you don't have to press any button. We learned a lot from our mistakes with that. And as we built, as we rebuilt all the infrastructure, we we created one thing that it's kind of a huge SPV wallet on the cloud that's serving all the other products. And I don't want to give m m many details, but. Uh, there, we, we see that for building Bitcoin applications now, there are two ways of going. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can go with uh, with these open source protocols like uh, Dean Little's, uh, I don't remember the name of the protocol. Then there's Metaglue. Yeah, I love that Metaglue. I love that. And there are, you know, all the Planaria stuff and the on Planaria and uh, on Planaria, I think it was the one from Dean Little. Anyway, you have all these protocols, okay? And on the other side, you have the bottoms. And with Cashport, the next iteration that we are going to, we are working even on a rebrand for that. We think that's going to be huge. And it will be 95% of our business. And it's the core of our business and everything we are thinking on. And it takes advantage of this cloud SPV huge wallet that we have. And I think it's going to be very interesting, but it's a new kind of product for Bitcoin. It's, a, it's something that was much needed. And, and again, it will be compatible with the protocols. It will be compatible with the bottoms, but we are not in the bottom business and we are not building an open source protocol for that. It's a different thing. Amazing. And um, where does uh, Handcash profitize in the business? Where's your main profit areas, if you don't mind me asking at the moment? Uh, Profit, uh, what do you mean? Profit? Profit, like where, how, how does your business make profit? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, at the time, we are still not monetizing. And we thought at this stage we were, we would be. Uh, well, we are monetizing from one income source, but it's, you know, uh, royalties from selling the handcast gears and, uh, you know, the, the T-shirts and all that. It's not, it's not, that was with zero comps, yeah? Yeah, yeah, wow. Beautiful it's, designs, it's, by the way. Beautiful yeah, designs, oh, very this nice. Guy, this guy, Pete from Zero Conf, oh man, he's, he's, I, I would hire him from, for anything. If he, if Zero Conf ever goes bust or something, I want, I want that guy. He's super professional. He's, he's amazing. Or, yeah, he, he's not selling for the, he's not selling for the, for the cheap stuff. So that's the kind of brand that we want to, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. where they have great customer support, they ship super fast. Yeah. Some people might say, oh, you know, it's a little bit expensive. You know, the, it's not 10 bucks per T-shirt. Oh, yeah. You have to you have to see these T-shirts. You know, they are super, yeah. you know, the, the I've got quite a few. The, yeah, I've got quite yeah, a the, few. The clothes, man, the, and the print quality. And we have this huge handcast towel, too. I, I love the towel. It's super soft. And have you got you know, one? Can we have a look at it? Oh, I don't know where it is. Uh, it's all right, Alex. Don't worry. Don't anyway. worry. We'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. Uh, sure. But uh, it's, you know, he has great products and it's, it's been great to partner with him. But uh, we will add income sources uh, mainly from, from this new cash board iteration that's going to have another name and the cash in, cash out solutions that we are adding into the wallet. A fee to, to, to VSP and ramps. vice versa. So we, are yeah. at, we will add a small fee for the fiat ramps. Yeah. But our main business will be serving people with this new kind of thing. Yeah, brilliant, Alex. We have some names and we have some thoughts, but I don't want to reveal. You know, there are many many photocopiers that are still heated and, you know, yeah. yeah I, I'm very cautious. I, I was giving, I used to be one of these guys that was, uh, you know, I was sharing all my thoughts and giving business, you can't. You business can't. ideas and whatever. Problem is that people, you know, I thought this would be, but people are taking this very seriously and they are not very appreciative when they took your idea. And 
Anyway, so I just say it happens, Alex. It's, you know, it, ha- it happens. It's business round here, and that's why uh, I keep my 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 um, ideas and things that I'm working on very mm-hmm. close to my chest. And I've been doing that for twenty years because uh, you know people do steal your ideas and stuff. You know, but I, but I think it's healthy. But and I think it's a very good signal that things are maturing. That's, yeah. And really that's healthy. that's fantastic. It's just that you know, uh, as a personal interest, I don't want to give give out all the uh, yeah all of the ideas. But we are working on something very, 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 very cool. Very cool, man. It sounds amazing. And can I ask about um that guy uh Jimenez? Yeah, um he's like the quietest person I've ever ever met in my life. Well, I've never met. I met him once, and he was very, very quiet and gentle person and a very lovely Jimenez. I really like you, man. You're lovely. But where are you, Jimenez? Where are you? Where are you? He's where, oh, he's, I, I tell him all the time that, you know, hey, guy, you, you have to step up and, and be a little bit more, more public because, I mean, when people, when he talks, he is, he's not a typical developer that uh, gives you a lot of bullshit and he cannot explain things. He, I, I don't know if maybe it's because he's used to be with me and he knows how to dumb things down for me, but uh, he can explain very complex concepts in a very easy way. And also he has this, holistic view on not just Bitcoin, but we as a company and how we can provide value for the world beyond, you know, just settling for the Bitcoin unwritten laws. And it's amazing. I've been working with him in one startup and in, in, and we were leading the AI department for Accenture for, for over a year. And before we, we, we started Handcash, but we, ha- wow. we have had a lot of experience working together and, it, 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 I'm still amazed that he hasn't abandoned me. He has, is he fun? He has, is he fun? I bet he's a fun guy, right? He must be fun. He's very good. He's very, yeah. very, uh, he's very fun. Thing is that he was uh, years ago. He was still tr- struggling a little bit with English. Now he's more, fl- much more fluent, and yeah. maybe that's why he didn't start being more yeah. vocal at first. But now he's, he's, he, he will start being more vocal, I think, and also he will start writing some uh, very. Not not very technical articles, but some tech, some articles talking about what we're doing and why we're doing it. And, is he your technical director? Is he Alex? Yeah, the CTO. Yeah. Yeah. God bless. Excellent. I'm not the CTO. So his coding skills. I take it his uh, coding skills are tight. Oh, he's 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 fantastic. I, yeah. Uh, the kind of level we are talking about when he was, he's 25 now. I think. He's a baby man. He's, He's a baby. super, super young. When he was 20 or 21, uh, he was working on a project. I participated in that project too. It was an AI-related project for Teresa Street. She's one of the leading uh, thinkers in the AI world. And she wanted to implement her new uh, AI technique. It was called a, a qualitative AI. He wanted yep. to implement, to apply that to um, DNA sampling, and he hired Rafa. And turns out now that's one of the industry leading a- a- techniques for sampling DNA. And he You're was joking. like twenty years old. He was You're twenty joking. years old. And that was he Rafa Jimenez. Yeah, he understood. He understood. It. I, and we were working with Accenture. I think I can safely say it now. We were working together on. Um, Autonomous driving system for BMW. And, You're joking. Oh, and it was very. You serious? Um, you too. Was a very good. Yeah, well, we were leading the the, the project in here in Madrid, and wow. it was uh, it was a fantastic project, man. And he, the way he implemented it, it just worked. In a few weeks, the ideas of qualitative AI applying to you know in a way to minimize uh, the cost of machine learning and the hours that you have to train the machine learning stuff. Then it turns out that after the product was abandoned for reasons that I'm not going to state here, the, the pro, the, you know, it was, was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that we watched the presentation by Elon Musk on autonomous driving last year. And yep. the system was the fucking same thing. It was based on the same principle. Oh, you're joking. You're joking. So we were the, so we so I think we were in the right track, at least in the in the how to solve this issue. And we were not using lidars and all that stuff. It was just computer so, vision. Yeah. Let me clear this up, Alex. Right. So yeah. Elon Musk, um, is it fair to say has taken perhaps no, taken no, 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 inspiration no, no. or not? No, 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 not at all. What I mean is that turns out that 
the model that Elon Musk was, uh, turns out that they were working on, we were working on the bas basically the same principles in parallel when all the other companies were based on LiDAR and machine learning and all the stuff. Right, I see, I see. Yeah. Makes, uh, and is this why you're a huge fan of Tesla as well? Because you love that Elon Musk, don't you? You love him. I lo love him, uh, but it's beyond Tesla. It's, it's, it's the, way, the way the man thinks and how intense and passionate he is. And all the, the you know, when, when he was doing this company X.com that became PayPal then. And, you know, he, he understands how to build great products, great companies. And he's a very... Uh, He's a leader. He's not a manager. He's a leader. The the different uh, and I'm trying to learn a lot from uh, both from him and Steve Jobs and well uh, even from one of my heroes all time heroes is uh, Henry Ford and I, I try to learn whatever I can from them because uh, they change the world and they and if you if you break it down it's like they're following the same pattern on everything. And we try to replicate that pattern with hand cash. You know, we, you see Amazing. this kind of vertical integrated companies like IKEA, uh, Tesla, Apple, uh, Nike. You see all these, uh, and Disney, all these big corporations are always doing the same stuff. They are replicating the same structure. So that's, we are trying to replicate that same structure with hand cash. And let's see how, what it, how it goes. And Alex, that's amazing. I hope it works out for you. I keep seeing uh, more and more wallets now. Um, I think last time I checked, is is there about 12 BSV wallets or something? I have no idea, man. I'm living under a rock. <laughs> 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 we are so busy that I, I don't I don't know. I, 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 there are great wallets out there. And, and I think it's healthy that everyone serves its own purpose. We, we are not trying to compete with with relay or simply cash or send or i think each each of them have their own you know their own target their own why they exist you know that their, their own reason to exist and you know we are just different in a way that you know people some people want us to do everything and our way is different. Our way is that we want the wallet to be as simple as possible because, and people will, will notice why, because what we are building is the infrastructure to allow others to build on top of this. Yeah. And uh, we started as a wallet, but we saw very clearly where this was heading. And that's why we reworked everything for Handcast 2.0 and... You know, it, 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 it will be possible to build your own wallet on top of hand cash. So wow. if you want, you want, you are, you really love the, those fucking QR codes, you can build your <laughs> QR code, you know, the, the best QR code reading app in the world and just connect it to hand cash and that's it. Or if yeah. you have this great button that you want to put it everywhere in the internet, you can just connect it to hand cash too so your user base grows. But you, will I you mean, have, um, we just want yeah, to right, I see what you mean. Yeah, I see what you mean now. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot it, of sense, yeah. It, we, we want to provide infrastructure in a way that, hey, if you need it just, if you need handcast just for two or three, you know, basic things that we can provide for you, just plug it in and, and use that. You don't have to use everything that we do or whatever. You can just pick and choose whatever you you like you, you, you'll get more info on this it's it's a little bit yeah, yeah. it sounds really good and it hopefully it'll make a make a few quid for you guys as well now um you're working with um georgie samuels aren't you and yeah. uh, brendan oh. lee how's it's, it going what are they like oh, to work with tell us a little bit about them oh uh you know m most companies in bitcoin they don't take branding and marketing seriously but i'm a marketing guy and a branding guy and i understand this and even though I have some knowledge and understanding about Bitcoin. I'm also a businessman and I understand that you have to surround yourselves by people that are better than you. And even if, and even just because you have to delegate, you know, I cannot be with the day to day minutiae stuff that, you know, I take all the emails and I reply to many of the emails, but Hey, I cannot, just do emails. I have to do other stuff. So that's why we have support. That's why we have a CTO that you know talks with the other developers. That's why we we have to delegate. We have to learn, learn how to delegate. 
And although I'm a huge fan of, of branding and, and marketing, and I started all the branding and marketing for Handcash, I, want, I wanted to hire a very professional team for this. And we, our requirements for, for doing this was, you know, people that understood the sector, people that were very community oriented, and that, you know, that they were passionate about our product. And they ticked the three boxes. And it's been a it's been a dream come true uh, working with them. Especially they have uh, the in our first sessions because this is the way at, at least it, it has worked with us. Uh, they have they have a um, a branding girl that she's called Annie. She lives in Houston, and we've been doing these branding sessions, branding brand discovery sessions, and oh man, the the kind of things that you know by having this brainstorming thing guided by her with her knowledge on on this it's been wide opening uh, is when i eye opening we mm. we understand our pur purpose with this beyond what we are doing and the wallet and the features and this is beyond features what are we are trying to do for the human can you know for for the world specifically what what's our place here and they are helping us understand that so in that way once we know who we are what we are here for and all these things we can just trim it down into focusing on that instead of trying mm. to be everything for everybody and just try to please every feature request or or every product that 